Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be fitting some parts to the EK Civic, the Jordan Civic, I was talking about it before. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, you will already know what car this is. So we have bought a few parts for the Jordan. We're going to be fitting quite a bit of carbon. But there are a few different carbons that we will be fitting, so I will talk about those as well as we go through the video. If you guys are after anything, I will link everything down below as always. I'm just gonna jump straight into the video today and show you guys what we're up to and show you guys the parts that we have bought. So this is what I am most excited about fitting, is the scuttle panel to the Jordan. You guys will know that this goes just below the window over the wipers. This was done by a guy locally. I will link his page below. Um, so you guys can go and check him out if you want anything. He is based in Northern Ireland. He did a very, very good job in this. This was actually hydro dipped. I wasn't too sure, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too sure how this would go, but you can see how nice that weave is. Anyone who has been in the Honda game as long as I have, you will know that this is a wheels penis. Yes, you did hear me right, that is what they're literally called. And they are made of carbon fiber. I have one of these on my Civic. Absolutely loved it. Needs a little bit of a clean up. Yeah, it's second hand, so it has got a few marks and things on it. So you can pick these up in around £80 for a second hand one. Okay, so here's where you can tell the difference between real carbon fibre and just cheap carbon fibre. Cheap fake carbon fibre. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this piece which we got from eBay. It was around £15. This is a battery cover, so this will just go over the battery. But if you look closely, You'll see just how how fake it looks. It's not bad for £15. It will look better than what is on the car, but yeah, you can see the difference. And then we've got this little bit. This is for the fuse box cover. Now this was a bit more expensive. This is actually real carbon fiber. You can see how shiny it is if you set it down here beside that. So if you set it down here beside this one, you can see the difference in the quality. Uh, like I said, that one was 40 quid to get done, um, that was done by CS Skins. Yeah, you can see the different quality of the weave through that. This is the Hornet, yeah, Matt Cole. I did call it a bumblebee in the last video. So that is supposed to go on the back, that is what comes OEM. Uh, we will see, I don't know if that's gonna go on or not, we will, we will have a go at that. So these are bonnet struts for an EK Civic. Now, EK Civics don't come with bonnet struts. Then I'm going to paint the caliper in here. So I'll just let you quickly see what the scuttle panel's like here on the Jordan. And I think all the little carbon fiber bits will look nice in the engine bay. We'll tie it all together. The bonnet struts will be better than this brush shaft.
the battery died or something because it went wrong on the Jordan. This is the problem. So as you guys can see, the Jordan has not made it back in after it's washed. Um, I don't know what's happened, but it seems to be that this little wire has disconnected somehow or blew off. I don't know how. Between it going out, getting washed and coming back in. Although Ryan drove it up and down the yard, so maybe that's what happened. Maybe something there had happened. But it isn't starting now. We're going to try and figure it out. This video has took a turn for the worst. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see how we get the car back in, see what happens. Supposed to be just a simple little video, just uh, getting the car washed before I put it back in to show you guys what it looked like. I was supposed to be going home today to make a big chicken dinner. I'm not doing that. Well done. Thankfully it started, I was starting to panic about how we were going to get it back in. Put my car back down here against this wall and then I'm going to show you guys the end results. Yeah. My daddy. As you can see, the car is looking a lot better. And the carbon bits are looking really nice. And I think they just add that little bit to the yellow. We are trying to stick with the, the yellow and black theme. And I think it looks really, really good. Thankfully, we got the car back together. Thankfully, there was nothing too bad to fix. And um, I would say there'll be a few parts needed in order to make it not do that again. But at least it's back in the garage. The S2000, you may have seen it in the background of some of the videos. It's looking a little bit more sorry for itself. It needs a set of steely spot onto it. There's two space savers on the back and then there are my two Ferraris on the front. So I do need a set of wheels for that. And I am planning to get it painted. So I need a set of wheels so I can take it because I'm not taking it on my Ferraris. No way am I leaving it with the Ferraris on while it's getting painted. I will leave all the links down below if you guys want to check any of them out. All right guys, so I'm just bringing my Audi in now. Getting it in here as well. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>